team of six e-enablers have been working since last summer on a project to produce and distribute 3D printed e-enable hands and arms around Haiti. The hope is to create a pilot that can be scaled and adapted to other developing areas. Over the course of five days in December, two team members, Dante and Mohit, took the first steps towards testing our concept on the ground in Haiti. The first stop was Haiti Communitaire, our potential manufacturing partner in Haiti. Haiti Communitaire is a unique collective that is a combination of makerspace, business incubator, and sustainability center dedicated to fostering collaboration between Haitian and international groups. The space also houses iLab, a 3D printing venture run by Desime Willio. Here we unpack components from more than 20 hands that were generously printed by eNable volunteers Kara Tanaka, leader of University of Southern California's 3D printing club, and Ara Bogosian of Design Intent CAD for our trip. During the trip, we would train our Haitian colleagues in assembling the prosthetic hands and also we demonstrate the printing and fitting processes. We also had the chance to meet with healthcare entrepreneurs of Field Ready, Dara Dots, Mark Mellers, and Eric James, a team which uses 3D printing to deliver medical equipment on demand, such as umbilical cord clamps and IV bag hooks. From Haiti Communitaire, we headed over to Hospital Albert Schweitzer, aka Haas. We had been working with Cornelia Kohler, a resident prosthetist of Haas's Medi for Help clinic, for months, so we were excited to finally meet in person. Medi for Help, a nonprofit that fits hundreds of Haitians with conventional lower limb prosthetics, will now begin offering Enable devices to patients. Enable's 3D printing devices offer a quicker, cheaper alternative over conventional prosthetics. With help of enablers, the clinical staffs assembled several hands and soon were teaching each other to accelerate the process. A key long-term goal of Enable Haiti project is to provide Medi for help with the capacity to size, print, assemble, and fit devices on site, and to have Haiti Communitaire assist with repairs and technical support. Bernard Mev Hospital, an important critical care hospital in Haiti and another partner hospital for Enable, is the site of a prosthetics clinic run by Project MediShare. Enable and Willio visited the site and had a chance to once again demonstrate our devices. Here the team met with Thomas Iwala, a prosthetist who came to Haiti from Sudan after the earthquake and has never left. Tomic was enthusiastic about the hands, carrying it around with him everywhere and showing it to the staff. Earlier that day, Tom had just met a patient that will need some hand prosthetics after his wounds heal. He introduced us to the gentleman and we had an opportunity to ask him questions on whether he thinks he would use a device like this and if his appearance mattered. It was encouraging to hear that he would use an e-enable device and he didn't care much for the appearance as long as it was functional. We had such a remarkable time during this trip meeting such amazing people. Their drive, compassion and good nature are why we are encouraged about this pilot's progress. Thank you all for your support. We can't wait to return back to Haiti and start the next phase of this project.